Good morning, you guys. So it is day two. Excuse the way my hair, everything is looking, but this is gonna be just raw footage. Like you guys are gonna see exactly how I am in my state of where I am, my natural state of being. So right now I'm just sitting outside on my balcony. This is something that I like to do early in the mornings. It's about nine o'clock. I've been up for a long time, but I decided to just wait till it kind of started warming up a little bit before I came outside. And I like to come out here and just sit. Being outdoors has, let me see if I can sit right down. So again, I am outside. I like to come outside, wrap up in a blanket. It's not cold, but it's still a little cool out here. So, um, being outdoors is one of my safe spaces. I feel safe when I'm outside. When I was a little girl, um, my parents they had this picnic table in the backyard, and we would use that picnic table for everything from cookouts birthday parties, family gatherings, holidays, or just to sit outside and just eat ice cream and everything like that. Neighbors, kids would come over, we all sit outside. And I used to sneak out when it got dark and everybody in the house would go to sleep and I would go outside and I would just lay on the picnic table. And I would just look up at the night sky and look up at the stars and the moon. And I can remember just thinking like, oh my gosh, like this is this is beautiful. This is magical. You know, even as a little girl, I, I dreamt big. So I would sit outside, look up at the sky, and I would just be in awe and I'm like, I know, I know God is real. There has to be a heaven beyond that sky. It's just too beautiful. And it made me dream. It made me really just dream. And I would think about all the things that I could become, all the things that I would do. And it really, It would, it really set the tone for who I am. It really set the tone for who I am because I always thought that, you know, from being a young girl, just dreaming as a country girl, I always just believed that anything that I wanted to do, I could do. All I had to do was just believe. And anytime that I get scared, I just look up at the sky and I just think that God is there. God is up there. He's, he's up there. And just looking at everything that he has created, it just inspires me and motivates me. It gives me that light, that peace that I need to keep going. And it gives me that motivation to keep going. So I would just look up at the sky. And I felt safe outside, just being outdoors, just being with nature, being one with nature. I think it has a lot to do with growing up in the country because country kid, always outdoors, always playing outside, always just doing something outside, finding a way to get outside. It was like just my release, my way of escaping everything just going for a walk or whether it be like when I was a little girl just thinking back to how I would lay on that picnic table and I would dream and I would think of everything that I wanted to become everything that I wanted to do with my life and here recently I have been thinking a lot about those moments where I would sit and I would just be I was little I, I so carefree didn't really have any responsibilities just thinking like, oh my God, I wonder what my life is going to be. Didn't think life would be like this. Never saw this, never dreamt this. 
want something better. But as an adult, I know that, you know, even when you dream, even when you have goals, you have to work hard. And you have to go through some things, you know, that's just a part of being a Christian and having faith. You're going to be tested, you're going to be tried. And we weren't promised a perfect life. We were promised life and we were promised that we were going to have it. We were promised everlasting life and we would have it more abundantly if we did right. You know, if we not getting it right every single day, not being perfect. God didn't create us to be perfect. He didn't create us to not have flaws. He knew that we would be tempted. He knew that we would fall down. And he, he created us in that way so that we could depend and lean on him completely. And one of the things I recognize is that I don't always depend completely on God because I like to try to do things myself. And a lot of times God has to completely break me down so that I do completely depend on him. Because I'm I'm so strong willed and I'm so like it's it's got to happen like this, it's gotta happen now, it's gotta da, 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 da. I gotta make a way for it to happen now. And not even realizing that moment that I'm not the way maker. I'm not the person I'm not the one that makes impossible things possible. That's not me. That's not my job. That's what God is for. And if I could do everything by myself, I wouldn't need him. If I didn't break, if I didn't fall, I wouldn't need him. If I was made perfect, I wouldn't need him. If everything went my way, I wouldn't need him. So that's one of the things that I am challenging myself to really work at more. Just releasing and letting go, surrendering completely and totally to his will and trusting that everything that he has planned for me is what's best for me. So accepting God's will can be hard. It can be difficult. It can be challenging. But once you surrender and let go. I believe it's working in me.